guys, welcome back to the Solo Spray YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Ray, and I've been a professional spray tan artist for over 10 years. It's pretty wild, but I love sharing all my fake tanning tips and tricks that I've learned over the year, which is why this YouTube channel was created. So thank you for choosing to watch this video. Today I'm gonna go over a topic that is to do with the weather. It is basically summer. I live in Texas, it's been over 100. It's just been crazy weather, so I'm not sure where you live, but it's getting to be summer everywhere. And one of the questions I get a lot is, can I lay out in the sun or get sunburned, get a tan in the sun if I have a spray tan or self tan on? So. A self tan, spray tan, any fake tan, self tan mousse, lotion, whatever, anything that is going to make you tan does not protect you from the sun. You can still get sunburn and you can still get a tan naturally from the sun when you have the product on your skin. So this is also why it's important to wear sunblock and you need to be using a sunscreen that has no alcohol in it so it's not breaking down your fake tan, sun balm, Kula, are good brands. The Badgers brand It's a super clean sunscreen. I like that one and Think Baby is also a really great one. Those are ones that I put on my son as an infant and even now is what we use in our household. And it's just a really good natural sunblock. It has zinc in it which is protecting you from the sun versus a chemical. But make sure you're using that when you go out in the sun. And oil is going to break down your fake tan so I don't recommend using a super oily, like Super Goop has a oil that also has SPF in it, which is a great product, but it's going to break down your fake tan. So if you don't mind that happening, go ahead and do whatever you wanna do. But in case that you do, you want to be using just a sunscreen that is organic. And it's interesting because, so say you have your spray tan or self tan on, and you're not gonna really see your tan that you got from the sun until the spray tan or self tan starts to fade. So just keep that in mind that when your fake tan starts to fade, you could see your natural tan come underneath. But yeah, it's a simple video today. The answer is yes, you can do both. Make sure to protect yourself from the sun. I love to get a fake tan so I don't feel like I need to lay out in the sun so I'll already have a tan. So I'll just protect myself and stay in the shade, which is why self tanning and spray tanning is so great because I'm not damaging my skin to get that tan. I'm, like I said, I'm in Texas right now, so it's really hard and I have a toddler that wants to be in the pool. So being in the shade just isn't feasible for my lifestyle right now, but I would love, that's what I would love to do. But if you're in a situation like me, just make sure you're wearing sunscreen protecting yourself. I always wear a hat when I go into the sun and when I do get summer, which I have gotten a few times this summer already. It's not even summer. Uh, technically, I'm not sure. But this year I've already gotten summer a few times and it's always my shoulders. And so if you do get summer, just make sure to put aloe vera and lotion, a lot of it before you go to bed or because you don't want to peel. A little bit about peeling. If you have got sunburned, and you aren't sure if you're gonna peel or if you are starting to peel a little bit, do not get a fake tan. It will look crazy. I've had a client that I spray tan, I still do spray tanning in Austin and she got a spray tan and she did not look, I spray tanned her. She did not, she was not peeling at all. She was a little red, but not peeling at all. And her sunburn was from a few days ago. So I figured she'd already peel, like would have started peeling. No, the next day she texted me and she said, and she sent me a picture and it was just like all peeling right here and it looked terrible. And the only thing that she could do at that point was exfoliate as best as she could and self tan that area and hope that it blended into the spray tan, which it can. It just, the peeling might still continue and it'll take like little spots off and it'll look really funky. So if you are sunburned and you aren't sure, skip the fake tan until you're a hundred percent sure you aren't gonna peel because you will have a crazy tan and it's really hard to fix. And I, I can't go back and spray tan that area because it's just gonna happen again. So it's a hard situation to be in. So just skip it until you know you will not peel at all. But yeah, those are the, I kind of went on a tangent about peeling because it kind of pertained to what we were talking about. But yeah, protect your skin. You can still get sunburn and you can still get tan with a fake tan on. I share a new 
video every Tuesday of the week. And you can follow me on Instagram at Jess Ray Buck. That is my personal. I share. I live in Austin, so stuff around Austin, my kid. Um, I'm also a real estate agent in this area, so I just do kind of a bunch of bunch of things. But And then you can follow us on Instagram at Sunless Ray, R-A-E. I will link that below. Our website is sunlessray.com. We sell our non-toxic self-tan mousse, and then we sell a self-tan kit that comes with an exfoliating mitt and an applicator mitt and our mousse. And you could use code free ship for free shipping if you are in the US on our website. And we also sell our products on Amazon Prime. So just type in Sunless Ray on Amazon and you can see all that. If you do purchase it on Amazon, please leave us a review. It means a lot. And also make sure to like and subscribe to this video and comment below with any fake tan questions that you have. I am happy to answer them in a new video and I will respond within 24 hours to any fake tan question that you have. And I will see you next week.